busy right now. Is he dying? Yeah. The next 10 minutes? Unfortunately, no. He's in a lot of pain. I've thought about it. You're right. I should go to the conference. You found out Cuddy's going. Oh, God, no. She'll ruin everything. We leave in two hours. Conditions limit us to toxins, infections. It could be anything. Gas leak, arsenic in the wallpaper, fungus in the shower. I'll get samples from her room in the restaurant. Talk to our little gossip girl. You need to know exactly where she's been and what she's done the last 24 hours. Oh, I think... Uh, uh, it... Welcome to the convention, Dr. Perlmutter. It's my 25th consecutive year. Perlmutter loves the 80s. I know what you're gonna say. I'm not insane. Doctors are rarely indicted. Whoa! I was just thinking of your career. But yeah, if you're one of the doctors occasionally indicted, I guess it could affect that. Someone needs to say what life is really like now for people who are dying. What doctors have to go through, the decisions we have to make alone, without guidance. Someone should say that in an unsigned letter to the Times. I'd be telling the truth. I'd be saying what we're all thinking. Who cares? The oncology department is subsidized by drug companies. They don't want it run by a murderer. We're all murderers. We just don't have the guts to admit. And once again, who cares? You won't be hireable anywhere. If there's one thing I've learned from you, it's that I should do what I think is right and not worry about the consequences. Yeah, it's worked out great for me. Pretzel, those are gonna show up on my credit card at seven bucks a bag. There's an all-you-can-eat buffet downstairs. Studies show that $10 wine tastes better if you're told that it costs $90. I'm sure the same thing must be true of grape soda. Have one. You could toast your pending unemployment. Yes, you can sit here running up my hotel bill, or you can go get the woman of your dreams. I didn't know Angela Merkel was attending the conference. I just spoke with Cuddy. She doesn't think you're reliable, and you will remain friend-zoned until that changes. I can't convince her that I'd change my entire personality in a weekend. Yeah, but you could make the first step. What does she need? Today, a babysitter. What are you thinking about? Fjords. You see, S seriously. I know this is out of your comfort zone, but don't scheme. Don't... Just do the deed. You tell me that I've got to show her I've changed, and yet you act like you don't believe I can. But I can't convince my best friend. I'm sorry, and I, I, I didn't mean... I didn't mean... I didn't mean... You drugged me. She's better off without you. Words can hurt, you know. Uh. Huh? It's Foreman, trying to update House, but his phone's off. House! He's not here. Patient's losing blood faster than we can transfuse. Cameron did an online search, found out Keener travels with his dog. We're treating for rickettsia. Any idea where he is? Oh, no. I was supposed to be getting paper five minutes ago. Okay. Okay. 
Dr. Wilson has asked me to tender his apologies for his absence. He'll be hearing my paper instead. Unfortunately, it wasn't time to correct the program schedule. Euthanasia. Let's tell the truth. We all do it. We just don't talk about it. We play the game. We use other words, or we don't use any words at all. Hmm. Nice phrasing. Hello? Uh, I don't know what department I want. Uh, I need pants. Patient S, 55-year-old man, end-stage lung cancer. His pain was beyond the point where we could even pretend to treat it. I showed him how to use the morphine pump. I told him too much morphine would kill him, but not to worry. The machine only gives out so much. To override it, you need to enter a special code. I went to the door and told the nurse, the code is 328. I said it loudly. When he first came to my office, I told him I'd be with him every step of the way. But I left him alone at the end. I broke that promise. To cover my ass, I failed. I was wrong when I wrote that. I've never given any less than my best. I am incapable of turning away from a responsibility. My friends take advantage of that fact far too often. I know that I gave that man everything I could, and I know that he knew that too. This is a burden no one should have to carry alone. And this is a decision no one should make alone. Because frankly, I don't trust all of you. Doctor! 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 Question! Excuse me, doctor. Not many people would have your courage. Thank you, Dr. Perlmutter. Hey! Before I start shouting, the foreman says they're looking at Rickettsia. Thanks for the message. Continue. What the hell? You think that little shout-out is gonna make me forget that you drugged me, hid my pants, stole my speech? You wanted the paper out there? It's out there. And your job is safe. That was my paper. You don't ask what I want, you ignore my wishes, you drug me. I'm waiting for you to name something new to our relationship. You got no good reason to be angry with me. Oh, really? I should be thanking you? If this was about getting the story out there, then yeah. Of course, it is actually about something else. Maybe you feeling impotent because patients keep dying and you think you need to make some grand stupid gesture. You need to be a hero. Well, and yeah. Sorry, I did screw it up. You stepped over the line. This was not your decision. My God, there are 10,000 oncologists in this country. Every one of them loses patients. But only you would feel guilty enough. Of course, we can't even argue on my schedule. house. Yay! <laughs> you want a little driving? He looks like a guy who'd be there every day. Minibar is restocked. I say we grab some pretzels for the road. When you do what I did, it's not enough to tell yourself you did nothing wrong. You need to hear it from someone else. If not God or Society, a friend. Otherwise, you go crazy. What you said to me up there. Thank you. You're a good friend. God, you should know that. Yeah. You should let her know that I drugged you so you wouldn't confess to murder. Let's get out of here. Someone could have recognized you. First US conference I've attended in 15 years. Pearl butter? Toronto. All weekend. Airtight alibi. <laughs>